Hi everybody, welcome back to Taylor Toned. You've joined me for a 23 minute follow along full body workout with me. This workout, you are gonna be needing some small weights. So I have these one kilogram weights. If you've got some cans at home, maybe you've got a wine bottle, maybe something just heavy that you can pick up easily with your hands, grab a hold of that right now. If you've not hit subscribe, do that right now. Press the bell to get notified every single time I upload a brand new workout. I upload at least two new workouts every single week. Also, give me a follow on my Instagram. I am at Taylor Toad. Okay, grab a hold of your weights, whatever you have, and let's get straight into the burn. You're gonna go ahead and pick up whatever weights you have right now. You're gonna pop them in towards your hands, press your knuckles together or press those weights together, roll the shoulders back and down, elbows go to the side, the abs pull in, take a little bend through the knees, let's go traditional knee lifts, we go up, go lift, lift up, lift up. So I want you to draw the knee up towards the sky, take a slight bend through the knees, bring the toe in front of yourself, we go for a lift and lift. Now just keep pressing your weights together, keep drawing the belly button in, Think about your posture during the next 23 minutes. So everything is long and lifted like a ballerina, everything is presented. Working on your posture here as well as sculpting your body. Go seven, go six, go five, go four. You have three, two, one. I want you to bring your weight down towards this foot. You're gonna lift up, press over the top of the head. Down, in, push. Down, in, push. Down, in, press lift. So you're dropping those weights by the side of your foot and then pressing up towards the ceiling. Elbows stay to waist. Down, up, push. Down, lift, press. Three, down, lift, push. Two, down, lift, press. One more, you've got it. Down, now you're gonna press the weights to the sky. Keep this left leg bent. I want you to open the hands out and then extend through the fingertips. You're gonna bend your left elbow, then bend your right elbow. So you've got that left knee bent. Come in, extend. A little breath already. We come in, extend to a V. Now both, in, then out. Come in, extend, reach. In, extend, reach. In, press. Now from here, you're gonna lower this left heel to the floor, bend through both the knees, draw the tail to the floor, pull the abs in, come in, then reach. You've got five to a hold, four to a hold, I know. You've got three to still this, two, extend. Last one, now keep the arms up there, you're gonna rotate back, rotate forward. So the elbows are nice and lengthened. You wanna be rotating those weights back and flip the palms to the sky. So the weights turn down, then up, turn down then up, option here, drop the tail lower. Further option, can you find a little balance? Start to lift the heels away from the ground, bend deeper through those thighs. You've got four here, then the other side. Three, then the other side. Two, last one, rotate, and well done. Straight second side. We go down, go up. We go, weights on the head. Down, up, push. Down, up, press. Down, elbows hook, press. Down, elbows hook, push. Keep going, down, lift, we go, press. My head's going everywhere. We've got lip pulse on as well. Why did I think that was a good idea? Go press, we go down, go lift, go push. You've got two more, lift, press. One more, down, lift, push, hold, and stay there. You're gonna bring your elbows back towards the waistline and then from here, incline the body forwards and send the weight behind yourself. The weights are above the tail. The toes go switch, change, switch, change, switch, change, switch, change. So you stay exactly where you are. I'm gonna show you the side on what I'm doing. So my weights are above the back and I'm switching those heels, lifting them away from the floor. Make sure your belly button is pulling away. Option here, like patting your head, rubbing your stomach, in, out, in, press away. Come in, press away, keep going, come in, then push. You've got six, five, keep going, four more, three more, two more. Last one, press back and hold. Now 
drop this heel, left heel down to the floor. You're gonna flip the palms up to the sky. Tiny presses up and up. So you're toning back of the arms here, working those triceps. Now roll the chest forward. Roll the shoulders down and away. Draw the belly button away from your thighs. Option here. Can you angle heel lift? And keep on pulsing up and up. You have just ten, just nine. Go eight, you're out in seven, in six, in five. You've got four, you're out in three, two, one. Woo. Okay, bringing yourself down towards your mat. Just drop the weights to the side. You're gonna lower yourself down. Your hands come underneath your shoulders. Your knees stand underneath your hips. Now, right now, walk, work on drawing your belly button up towards your spine. Stay right there, extend through the arms. You're gonna tuck your toes. You're gonna go ahead, lift both the knees off. We tap your right knee, left knee, right knee, left knee, right knee, left knee. We go tap the knee, go tap, and tap. So you're alternating the knees, go little tap, little tap, little tap, little tap. We've got seven, six, you've got five, You've got three, two, last one, hop those knees off. You're gonna step the feet backwards, straight into your plank. Stay right there. So you can, if you can feel it in the lumbar spine, you're probably doing this where the hips are low. Make sure those hips are either in alignment with the shoulders or raise them a little bit high for the modified version or drop those knees down. I know it's tough in that plank hold, but stick with me. Stay there, you're gonna drop. Left forearm down. You're gonna lower that left right forearm down and stay there. Now run the forearms so they're parallel to one another. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Modified option of this right now. Drop the knees down, draw the toes in, make sure you're on your mat. You're gonna roll all the way to me. Open the hands. Roll back through center and open the hands. Okay, that's your more advanced version. Modification, you're gonna roll like this on the knees. Roll round. Roll round. So you're coming on towards the shins for the modified version. For the advanced version, the toes are tucked and lifted. Roll round, sweep. We roll round. We sweep and lift. You've got four more. Roll round. Sweep, lift. You've got three more here. Roll round. Sweep, lift. Two more. Roll it round. Sweep and lift. One more. Roll it round. Sweep, lift. And now you're going to come back to the centre. Round. You're going to stack the forearms together. Make sure your eye line is in front of your forearms and hold there. You've got still the six. Go five. Go four. Drop the knees in three, two, one. Woo! Sink all the way on towards your heels. You're going to bring your hands forward. Chin to chest. Pull up big balloon. Bring the hands behind the back. Press the chest forwards. Breathe in and breathe out. And then from here. I want you to send the weights in towards your hands. So grab a hold now of your weights. Bring your toes together and open the knees out to the side. So you're gonna go lift up, lower down. So the weights just come to the side of your body here. Toes together, the knees are just open a few inches. So toes together, relax the calves, relax those feet. Just lift the hips. Now option here, press, pull. Push, pull. So we press, we pull. So we squeeze the weights forward. We hook the elbows to the weight. So if you've got those cans, punch forward. We go press. Both arms, we push, we pull. We push, we pull. You've got five here. Four more. You've got three. You've got two. Now last one, drop the hips to the heels, but don't let your heels touch. Tiny little tuck. Tuck, tuck. So your hip bones rotate into your belly button. So up here for the modification. If you want that deep burn out there, hips are low down here. I'm gonna put halfway. Tuck, little tuck. You've got five. For the full range. Three, two, one. Woo. Lift, down. I am burning like crazy. I think I've taught a record this week of classes. I've probably taught maybe whew, 13, 14 already. We go, punch, pull, five more, four more, three more, keep going, two more, last one, you're gonna hold up there, modified version, bring those elbows back towards the hips, advancement, 
Drop the hips, the heels, little tuck. Little tuck, little tuck, little tuck. Little tuck. Rotating hips under the bend should be here in the front of those thighs. We go, little tuck, little tuck, little tuck. Option, shoot those weights high. For that advancement, you're out in 10, in nine, in eight. We stretch in seven, I know, go six. Go five, we stretch in four, three, two, one. Woo! Well done, lower yourself down. You're gonna come all the way on towards your front. Bring your right toe into your glute, knee goes down. Lengthen that thigh muscle. Get rid of the burn. Other side. Heel in towards your butt. Knee to the floor. Inhale in. Exhale away. Then from here, hands go around the side of your chest. You're going to lift yourself up. Shimmy your weights on out the way. You feel like you're going to get in the way of your exercise. And then bring your left forearm down. Left forearm down. You're going to send your right hand to the side. And you still want your left knee on the floor. You're going to open through this hip and extend through the toe and point through the toe. If you've got a mirror in front of yourself right now, look at the mirror or the reflective surface. Is your right toe in line with the same right shoulder? If it is perfect, I don't want any of this twisting business. You've got the toe in line with the shoulder, the hip is open towards me, and hold there. So you've got one straight gorgeous line through that leg. Now this left hand on the floor, you're gonna roll the, rotate those fingertips a little bit towards me. Give yourself a bigger base of support. The toe in the air, tiny, circle, circle. Tiny circles round. So it's like you're drawing your toe around the, little, uh, around the lid of a bottle. So you know how you would get a bottle, I don't know, Coke, Sprite, something like that, Fanta. You're setting your toe around the lid of that when it's a screw top. Tiny circles round. So it's a tiny, tiny mind circle. It's not big, it's not grand, it's tiny. Go tiny circle round. You have five in the other way. Four, three, other way in two, in one, other way, go back, go round. So whichever way you just went, you're gonna go the other way around that bottle lid. Little circle, little circle, little tiny circles round. You have eight, seven, six, five, four. Hold in three, two. Now hold that, I know you're burning. You're gonna squeeze your right knee round to your right elbow and then all the way back into open hip position. So we come round, the two. Press it back on the you go press round, press round. As that leg squeezes up towards the sky, keep the whole body still. The abs stay still. Upper body stays still. We go back and press. We go round and round. We push it back and press. We've got four more here to go. Go back and press. Three more round and round. We go push back, push back. Two more round and round. We go press back. One more than you're gonna hold. Round to the side. Now press back, open through the hip. I know. Lengthen the knee, embrace your inner ballerina, point through the toe. Can you get the leg higher without compensating in the back? It's not the back, it's the side foot. Now roll the shoulders away from your ears, pull the abdominals in. Tiny, tiny lift up, lower down. Little press, little drop with a toe, little push, little drop with a toe, little press, little down. I know. Little lift, little lower. You've got five more here. You've got four more here. You have three more. Keep going, two. Little drop, now last one. Hold that length from that toe, open the hip. Draw the belly button in, roll the shoulders down. It's your toes still in line with your shoulder. And get that toe one inch higher. Now tiny presses up to finish. Little squeeze, little squeeze. We go, little squeeze. You have a final, let's go 10. Go nine, go eight, you're out in seven. In six more presses, five, four, three, two. One, woo, what a burner. You're gonna sweep the feet round in front of yourself and lower yourself down towards the floor. We grab a hold here of your weight. Bring yourself down, anchor the elbows to the floor. You're gonna walk your heels up towards your butt and then from here, breathe in. As you breathe, exhale, find the weights above the chest. Tap the weights together, lower down, drop those elbows to the floor. Inhale, exhale, press and push. We lower it down, we go press and push. You're sending your hips away from the ground. You still want your upper spine here, 
on the mat, on the floor, wherever you are. You're just shooting those weights above the chest. We curl the chest, the hips away from the floor. We lower, we drop, we go for a curl. We push, we go down and down. Knees in line with your toes. You're squeezing the glutes together. As you push to the sky, we drop and drop. So you're sequentially unraveling that spine. Up and away from the floor, four more, we lift. We push, we drop, it down, three more, we lift, we push, we lower, we lower, two more, we lift, we press, we drop, we drop, now last one, lift and hold. <laughs> Sorry, you needed to come. Lift and hold. The weights are up there, if you want the modified option, draw those hands around the side of the hips. Now you're gonna dig your heels in for the advancement, keep all four points down of your feet in the modified version. The hips are gonna go. Lift up, squeeze the glutes together. Little up press hold. So are your knees tracking over the top of your middle toe? Are your shoulder blades firmly down towards your mat? Lift up, squeeze. We go little lift up, push. Keep going. We go lift up, push. We go little up, squeeze, cut and press. We go little up, squeeze, press. Now faster, we come up. Come up, keep those weights above the chest. If it feels okay for you right now, advance and open those arms in towards the V. Keep the shoulders rolled back and down. Get those glutes shaking. You've got five, four, three, two, one. Second side of that open hip position. You're gonna sweep it round, other side. Bring your right forearm down, left hand to the side. You're gonna open the hip and you're gonna press your leg all the way up there. So your forearm is down to the ground. Elbow underneath the shoulder to build stabilizing support. And then rotate your right fingertips towards me to get a bigger base of support. Left hand to the side, the abdominals pull in, the knee straightens, lengthens, and you're gonna bring your toe to the sky. Point through the toe, go tiny little round. Little round, we go little round, little round. So remember, it's super small. I'm going round that bottle lid. Tiny, tiny circle. Now switch off your back. Keep it nice and still. Don't make the back do the work. Make those, make the side of the butt do the work. Developing upper body stabilizing strength. So you're still toning your upper body, even though your seat is probably starting to become on fire right now. You're still working your upper body because you're pulling your abs in. You're driving down through the forearm. You're rolling your shoulders back and down. You're thinking about spinal alignment here. The hip is open, the spine is long. Don't let the chin collapse down like this as you start to fatigue. Keep the eye line pinched forward. Tiny circle. You have three the other way. Two, one, other way, circle back. Circle back, circle back. So you're drawing that toe round. Lengthen your knee joint. So you don't want to lock out through that knee joint. You want to lengthen that knee joint so you're strengthening all those muscles around your knee. Tiny circle round. You have just eight, seven, six. I know, it's five. Four, knee round to the side, in two, in one, knee come round, for two, we go back, for two, we come round, for two, is that left toe in line with that same shoulder, feel it in the lumbar spine, you need to really look at your form in the mirror, make sure your toe is in line with the shoulder, we come round and round, if your side butt is on fire, you are doing it right, come round, we go, press back, press back, we come round, and round, you are so really good with this. You have 50 more seconds to go. Sounds a lot, but there you go. You've already done five seconds of that. We go push and press. We go go round to the side. We go press. Just keep breathing. Inhale through the nose. We exhale through the mouth. You've got this. You are strong enough. You can succeed. You can get that dream body. We go push and push. One more, go round. Go round, now you're gonna press back and hold, tiny. Lift, hold, lower, hold, lengthen the knee, open the hip, use the side, put those muscles, those gluteus muscles in the side of your seat, drop. Little push, little down, little press. You're already now in your final 10 seconds, so pulse it out. Little press, little press, little press. You've got six, go five, go four, you've got three, two, one. Woo. Okay. Onto your back now. So you're going to lower down, grab your weights on towards your back, and then I want you to bring your left foot in towards the tabletop. Now bring your right foot into a tabletop, knees over the top of the hips. If you want the modified version, press the hands around the side of the hips. If you want the advancement, shoot those weights high. 
Inhale as you exhale, elbows together. You're gonna drop the weights behind the head and bring them all the way back up towards the sky. So we drop those weights behind the head and we squeeze all the way up and press. Right now, can you feel this in your lumbar spine? If you're looking at the screen like Gabby, yes, I can feel this in my lumbar spine. You need to do a couple of things. You need to ditch those weights. Keep going if you're in the advancement. You need to ditch the weights. And then your lumbar spine, pop your hand there. If you can fit your hand there, that's why you've got lower back ache. So press your lumbar spine down, flatten off through the waistline, knees over the top of the hips. Keep going, we go drop and drop. So if you're in the modification, you ditch the weights, keep the hands around the side of the hips and just work on building up strength in the abdominals. We go down, we come up and up. Two more, we drop, we drop, we come up and up. One more, we lower, we lower. Now you're gonna lift up and you're gonna stay there. Weights over the top of the chest. If this is enough for you, go there. If, you, if that lower back is gone, maybe grab a hold of the weights, see if you can get them over the top of the chest without the lower back hurting. Stay here, modification, advancement, inhale as you exhale. The legs and the legs drop those weights back. In we go, inhale, we exhale, squeeze it back. In we go, inhale, exhale, don't hold the breath. You need that oxygen, exhale on the exertion, come in, come in. Now last one, you're gonna hold out here for the advancement, in here for the modification. Give me stillness for five, for four, for three, for two, one. Drop those weights to the side of yourself, flip the palms up towards the sky. Send the soles of the feet together today for your stretch. Let the knees open towards the side, get a deep stretch through the hip flexors. If this doesn't feel good for your hips, just take a parallel like this so the knees go towards the sky. Let the outside of the thighs just drop down towards the floor. Inhale, exhale. Now keep the knees out there. You're gonna draw your knees round the outside of the body. Catch the inner thighs. You're gonna circle so your inner thighs come together. Your feet then come down towards the floor. And then again, you're gonna drop those knees to the side carefully. Bring your inner thighs together. Hug the knees into the chest. And the knees come up to the shoulders. Shine the pelvis high. Don't worry about anybody else right now. Just think about right now, we're opening through the hips. Shine the pubic bone high. And then maybe give those feet a little roll out. Close your inner thighs together now and just rock side to side. Give your spine a little massage out so we're going side to side, left to right, left to right. Pop the feet down towards the floor. Your left foot is going to come over the top of your right knee and this knee pitches out towards the side. Then from here, this underneath leg, push the palms down. You're going to use the abs and you're going to draw the knee in. Don't use the back, draw that knee. If this feels okay for you, as long as you've got no knee injuries, this top leg folds over the top, the knees cross. You're going to try and grab a hold of both of your shins. So your feet come to the body and you should get a deep stretch through the outside of the butt. Any knee injuries, don't do this one. Pop the feet down towards the floor, other side, right foot over the top of that knee. Send the knee to the side, inhale as you exhale, use the abs, not the back, to lift that leg away from the floor and find yourself a figure four stretch, this one's called. Then if that feels okay for you, you're gonna slide this leg over the top, any knee injuries, stay right in that last position. And then if it feels okay for you, you're gonna draw the shins in towards yourself and hold. This is quite an unusual stretch, but it feels good on the side, but and then undo the legs from there. Draw the knees in towards the chest. Give yourself a rock back. Give yourself a rock and forward. And sweep the feet round towards the back. Hands come underneath your shoulders. Keep the spine still. Draw the, the chin in towards your chest. And then lift it back up again. Now you're gonna add a little cow position. Draw the chin into the chest, little casting cow. Draw the eye line under. Inhale as you exhale. Press the chest down. This is the cow position, the other way is the cow position. <laughs> or is it? <laughs> you're gonna draw yourself in towards a neutral spine. You're gonna tuck the toes under. You're gonna press the heels to the floor. Lift the hips high. Take your down dog position. Drive the heels low. Walk the hands in towards the feet. Take a bend through the knees. Slowly roll yourself all the way up and away from the floor. Facing round towards me. Give yourself a little shoulder roll round. Shoulder roll round. 
Give your hips a little shimmy side to side. Maybe take a little jog side to side. Give yourself a clap. Well done, everybody. I really enjoyed that one. It went by so fast. And make sure you smash that thumbs up button. If you also loved it, leave me in the comments down below. Did you feel it in places you shouldn't have felt it? How was it? Did you burn side foot? Did you burn the arm? Did you burn the abs? Leave me a comment down below. I'll see you next time. Hit that subscribe button. Bye.